series. So the general rule is that if the older leaves of your plant um, um, starts to become a, a, a hello and die off, that's absolutely fine. What's usually a concern is if newer leaves start to yellow before the old leaves because that can be a sign that something is seriously amiss with your plant. So if you notice that your plant's growing um, helia is very soggy and the leaves are starting to turn a hello, it could be a sign of root rot. Anthuriums like to be kept moist, but they don't like to stand in any water. So every time that you give your plant uh, water, always make sure that you empty out your cover parts or your drip uh, tray. Because if you allow your plant to stand in the water, the media will become waterlogged, there will be no more oxygen in the media, and it will kill off the roots of your plant. Additionally, if you remove your plant from the pot and you smell the root ball, if there's a funny decaying smell, it's most possibly root rot. So if your plant does have root rot, you want to take it out of the pot, you want to remove as much of the affected media as possible and cut back any dead roots. Then you want to either spray your plant with um, a solution of hydrogen peroxide, you can even perhaps use alcohol to really kill off any of the of the whole spores amongst the roots of your plant. Then you want to plant your plant into fresh growing media, possibly into a smaller pot to accommodate the uh, reduction in roots. Because if you plant your plant into the same pot where how your plant has possibly lost a third of its roots, it can make the, the uh, problem more acute because how it's going to happen is the pot will hold on to too much uh, growing media which will in turn hold on to too much moisture and that moisture you know in turn um, could cause a new um, outbreak a new outbreak of root rot. So the second cause of the hallowing leaves on your plant could be due to over fertilization and a, a hallowing leaves due to over fertilization tends to start at the tip and move back gradually over the surface of the leaves. I've actually uh, done this with my plant where I use those pre-made fertilizer sticks and you stick them into the into the pot and you uh, hold your plant. So the thing is that the hair sticks are actually too strong for the higher plants in these smaller uh, containers. So if you think that your plant is over fertilized, the best thing to do is to flush out the pot. So keep your plant at a sink or a basin and, and allow the tap water to run through your plant and set your plant on the side of the place and let all the water run out and then you can put your plant into the cover pot and put it in its proper place. To avoid the problem of over fertilization, I always use um, fertilizer at half the, the recommended dosage on the bottle, especially with liquid fertilizer. So and I also, um, in between uh, fertilizations, I flush out the pot with um, normal tap water when I, when I water my plant. Artificial fertilizers have a lot of salts in the fertilizer. So as you're fertilizing your plant, those salts are you know, con concentrated and they build up in the growing media. So at some point they do have to be flushed out and the, and the best way to do that is in the sink, in, in the shower, you know, 
has to really get the, uh, the sales out of the growing media because they can also contribute to the eventual breakdown of the growing media. Uh, those sales will often show up as like a white residue on the surface of your party media. And the third cause of the hallowing leaves in other rooms, if you notice these the hello patches on the leaves and, and you perhaps moved your plant into a bright location or your plant is maybe getting uh, direct sunlight, it could be a sign of light burn. Eventually, um, if, if your plant's leaves are scorched by the sun, it will go from a, a hello to a crispy brown. It's important to note that anthuriums can handle direct um, morning sun, but it's important to acclimate your plant to that sun and not take a plant that you bought in the store and put it in direct sunlight. Ideally, you want to provide some kind of a barrier between your plant and the direct sun so perhaps a, a muslin curtain or slatted blinds, anything that's going to really break up the sunlight. So I hope that this video answered any possible questions that you might have regarding a Halloween leaves on your anthurium. In the next video, I'm going to look at why your anthurium might not be flowering. I will see you in the next video. Bye.